Why, hello! So today we're gonna get started on a MacBook that powered down while typing that is now dead. He was typing, and now it's dead. Sounds like a MacBook to me. All right, let's get started on this MacBook. First thing we do to this MacBook is kill its coronavirus. Die, Corona, die! MB is Frenchy, so in my chat, you always seem to bring up a lot of real estate stuff. What do you think about the concept of looking to purchase a home if you find a, something in this climate? Like, is it something that, you know, should you try, but you lowball them by like 10 or 15%? Should you not try at all? If you do try, uh, should, you just, should you just wait a year? Because if you do anything now, it's totally ridiculous. Like, what, what are your thoughts? Because my concern is, let's say someone wants 500K, right? And I say, I'll give you like 400K. And they say, go fuck yourself. And they get really, really offended because they haven't met the corona reality yet. And then they're never going to consider me. Whereas if I just wait a year, and then, like, you know, once your home says, you know, it's been sitting on Zillow for 450 days, then when I lowball you by, uh, by 20 or 25%, you'll be more open to it. You know? Well, it's not so much the offense so much as it is they will not want to talk to you ever again if they get too offended. And that's what you want to avoid. The big concern is violations. Uh, what do you mean by that? Is there a bigger violation concern now? Don't lowball them, get the broker to do it for you. Yeah, but I'm going to be instructing my broker on how much to lowball. There's going to be a lot of lowballing going on. I'm going to be lowballing more than the broker wants me to lowball because that's how we do. He says, got to lowball now to plant the seed. Yeah. Watch out for crazy home HOA fees. Oh, if it's, if it's a homeowner's association, we're not taking it unless it's free. The house needs to be free if there's a homeowner's association. Period. There's no, no compromising there. No, if there's a homeowner's association fee, the house must be free. The cause of sales what gives you leverage. I can't predict the low, but we're already seeing people default. So do you have any advice on how to figure out what the reason is? Well, people could easily lie about that. It's interesting. I brought it up in another video and a bunch of people said that's the least important thing. Why are you selling? But I think it is. But then they brought up that's the easiest thing to lie about. Point taken. This whole concept of doxing is an immature and stupid thing that mostly matters to kids. So when I grew up, there was this thing called the white pages and everybody got them. And I could look up your phone number. I could even look up where you lived for many people in the white pages. And I would know exactly where you lived if I knew your name. So you already know my name. You already know what I do. You already know my store address. I mean, you could just look me up in the white pages. The reason that kids are concerned about this is because they don't want people coming to their house and bringing and telling their parents, look at what your son has said on the internet. Everybody wants to avoid that embarrassment of their parents figuring out what they do on the internet. So doxing is mostly a concern of children and teenagers. But once you're an adult and you realize that the white pages has existed for... Probably longer than you, you don't really give a fuck about that kind of stupid shit anymore. All right, let's take a look over this board. No 2.2% property tax. That's crazy. That's cray, cray, crazy. Ooh, I think I spotted something here. What is that? I see corrosion. Hmm, what's this thing? What do you do? I pay over 3% property tax, camera tool. I'm sorry to hear that. Fucking crazy. Okay, so on my board view software, this chip that looks all corrody, roady, 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 corrody, is U4200, also known as Berkelium. Berkelium. A special alloy created by Apple. It creates a few power rails. PP1V8 sleep. What do these go to, though? That's a good question. Uh, PP1V1 sleep. PP0V8 sleep. PP1V8 always. PP0V6 sleep. 
PP3VO awake. <sighs> Reading on this is making me sleepy. I need some PP's. <laughs> PP1V1 sleep. What do all these things go to? What the fuck do all these things go to? This goes to random components on the other side of the board. These power rails look like they just go to components and then to themselves. I don't... S okay, T208. What the... T208 is probably some touch bar shit or something. Yeah, this... T208 support. Okay. Display. Yeah, it's going to be for the touch bar, I think. So there's corrosion by the thingy for the touch bar thingy. And right above it, it looks like you may have a... Please tell me that's not NAND. Is that NAND? My God, that would be awful if that's NAND. That is DDR. Camera... Oh, that's a camera memory chip. Oh, that's the spy on you chip. Oh, we don't need that. We don't need some fucking camera spy on me chip. Yeah, fuck that. Okay, so let's give this area a minor reflow. I don't need no camera spy on me chip. Are you still looking in Malvern? No way in hell. Oh, fuck Malvern. Their property tax can go eat my... Why does my microscope camera look like that? Oh, there we go. It's not corroded, it's corona -ed. Hiss! Malvern is not a nice enough area to be worth paying 20000 a year in taxes. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna leave all those nice taxes for MB as Frenchie. Hiss. Now that little cap of sitter, that didn't look very nice. That's PP3V3S4 to ground. Kinda curious if our PP3V3S4 is shorted to ground. One way to find out. See, this is the problem here. Wait, no. Huh? I don't know if Erica likes it because she hasn't seen it yet. But I linked it in chat above a few times, Kurt. I'm unfortunately not able to link it again since I'm trying to figure out if this power rail shorted to ground. Someone should have it in chat. All right, so is it this cap that's bad that's doing that? Can I, can I knock that cap off? Mibis Frenchie is giving me advice on how to lowball. Thank you, Rob Brown. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. It's very rare that you come across a Brown recently that is... A <laughs> Charlie Brown. In Maine, you had the other Rob Brown. I feel so bad. but It's rare these days that you come across a Brown that's... It's a solid Brown. Uh, I used an apple as a skeet. It was a glorious confetti substitute. What? 
Okay, let's get this out of here. Okay, so it looks like that cap was the cause of my short on PP3V3S4. As you can see from the schematic and board view, that cap, that originally looked nasty, is C4204. That is on PP3V3S4, system on chip PMU. So this is power management, blah, 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 for... Long story short, this powers the touch bar chip. And this was the chip that makes all these teeny tiny rails, like 1.1, 0.8, 0.6, 1 1.8. That's a lot of random rails, but... And it needs its 3.3 volts. And now that that is done, now that that short is gone and been relieved, when I plug this in, I should now be able to see that it's taking 500 milliamps to an amp because it's turning on and working again. Let's see if that's the case. Turn on, little MacBook. I said, turn on, little MacBook. I said, turn on, MacBook. There we go. 1.356 amps. So we have indeed fixed our problem. We had a short on that rail. Before I actually went around measuring for shorts, I decided to look at the board with my eyes because it had a lot of nasty dust, and it did turn out that I was able to solve this using eyes. Rather Now, technically, I could have solved this using schematic and everything in the beginning, but what I would have had to do is I would have had to go through every single rail and measure for a short to ground, then inject voltage, and then see what gets hot. But sometimes you can just kind of short cut that process this way. And it's a fine way to do it. You know, your eyes are a terrible thing to go to waste. So I'm going to replace that cap, even though that cap really doesn't matter because OCD. Nobody will ever care if that cap is not there. No one will cry for that capacitor. No one will give a shit. But I will replace it because it'll bother me. It'll keep me up at night knowing it's not there. Nope, those were no stuff pads, beard of joy. No stuff pads, nothing there. To be nice, I'm going to try to avoid just overheating this area because there is a nice little underfilled camera memory chip above it. You can also see that the label on the chip is actually coming off. Yeah, I'll show you. Ready? That's really going to trigger my OCD, but what are you going to do? Oh well. Any of you know where I can buy a random Apple system on a chip that's proprietary? Good luck with that. It's just a label. No, it is what it is. What are you going to do? So this machine is going to get ultrasonically cleaned. After it's ultrasonically cleaned, it will be reassembled. After it's been reassembled, it will be tested. After it has been tested, it will be smashed with a sledgehammer numerous times. After it has been slashed with a sledgehammer numerous times, it will be delivered back to the customer after they've paid their invoice. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.